What's up guys? So we just got back from Dallas. It is Monday, Memorial Day. By the time you guys see this, it'll be way later than that, but it's Monday and we close on the new house on Friday, but John Luke leaves for Canada tomorrow and we'll be gone until Friday. So we are trying to get as much as we can, much done as we can right now. Um, I had to go to work for a little bit when we got back from Dallas, but now we're just packing literally all the boxes and we're gonna take loads to the storage unit and we're working on projects around the house because we close on the new house this Friday and then the following Friday we close on this house. So we have to be out of this house and have everything cleared and cleaned and ready to go. So packing lots of boxes. Moving in to our storage unit. Gotta put codes in everywhere. Say hey. Oh, I'm tired. So we're here, we're in the storage unit. Um, we have like several weeks, it's loud. But like several weeks that we can't be in our new house, so we're putting everything in a storage unit and then we're gonna have to do it all again. Welcome to our storage unit. This is where our stuff is gonna live for the next, I don't know, month or two. So this is our first two loads. Now we have several more. We we're driving to the storage unit and we just lost a box spring. We're on our fifth load at the storage unit and I don't think we're gonna have enough space. We're talking about getting a second storage unit now, so that's cool. This is the unit after five loads. This is the only space we have right here. What do you think, are we gonna make it? Maybe. I think we need another unit. A lot of stuff. Too much stuff. Okay, so I just got home from work and I, you can see all around me, there is kitchen stuff everywhere. I'm trying to pack up more stuff. Um, John Luke's in Canada and so I have a few days to move by myself. So I'm packing and just kind of want to throw it all away because I'm just kind of over it. I also want to say that I have absolutely no method to my madness. I try to stay like in the same room so that my box is just labeled kitchen stuff, but like putting all the non-breakables in one box and it's just going in the box. Like there's no wrapping method, none of that. So like I'm avoiding the breakables right now because I don't really know what to do. So that's cool. So I'm in the storage unit and this is the like fourth load I've done this week by myself, John Luke's in Canada. And I just had a breakdown in my car about like this whole process and like for whatever reason I was on the phone with my dad and I just started bawling and he was like, why are you crying? And I was like, I don't know. Like I'm just like really overwhelmed and really can't stand the sight of this storage unit right now and I just wish I was moving into the new house. But that's okay, we have so many other blessings, so many things to be thankful for and I'm reminding myself of that and I'm gonna laugh at the fact that I just hysterically cried in the parking lot of the storage unit to my dad for no reason because I can't get hold of John Luke. I don't even know why, I was just like talking to my dad and he was like, he said something and I just started crying and he was like, what? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, whatever, I guess we all have our days, right? 
What's up guys? So we just closed on our new house. Woo! So excited. But we can't move into the new house yet. We have a week to get out of this house and we'll move into that house the end of June. So we're excited. We'll keep taking you along on the packing journey, but congrats on the new house, babe. Yeah. What's up guys? So it's Monday morning, the Monday, the week of closing on our current house. So we closed on the new house um, on Friday. We spent all weekend moving and now it's 7 a.m. Monday morning, the week of our closing because we have to be out of this house by Friday and I still feel like we have so much to do. So I just took a load to the storage unit. I'm about to load up another load and then go to work. So this should be a fun day. But I figured I'd pop on here really fast and show y'all how much we got done this weekend because it was a ton and I'm really proud of us. We only have like probably a few more loads to the storage unit and then we should be good. So I'm gonna show y'all what all we did. So that was our dining room table and chairs. That was moved to the storage unit. There was a little like bar thing with decoration right there. Um, we gave this to my little cousin and took all of that to the storage unit. This is like just stuff that still kind of needs to go. This is Goodwill. So this will all be like donated to Goodwill. And then I'm coming here. All of the kitchen stuff is packed up. There's pretty much nothing left in here. Oh, that light is right. So we just have like, we left out some essentials and then we have the pantry to clean out, but all the cabinets and everything, we cleaned all of those out. This is all cleaned out. We need to take our chairs. Uh, John Luke's parents are coming to get all of this. Um, this week when they come to get Murphy. They're coming to get all of this. So they will take that for his sister. Um, and then bathroom is pretty much cleaned out. Oh, it got dark. This is guest bedroom, completely empty, which I'm super proud of. I just have to take the curtain down. And then this room over here, pretty much empty that's the one i'm working on right now but that is the pile of stuff i'm taking to my grandmother so disregard and these are like suitcases that we're packing and so i just have to finish getting the clothes out of there so it's coming along we're super close bubs has been so annoyed all weekend murphy murphy hey do you want to move no maybe so anyway, it's coming along. Um, none of that's coming with me either, so his parents are taking that. So stay tuned. All right, we had the best helpers today. <laughs> Look how much we got done, and by we, I mean them. <laughs> John Luke's parents were the biggest help today. Gaines Town Moving Company. The house is empty, except for our bedroom, which John Luke and I will tackle this weekend. We're almost there, people. Almost there. Praise. <laughs> This is it. Last moments in the house. You Peace gonna miss out. it? Peace out. It's our first home together. Peace out. He's ready to go. We're just both over the moving. So we're about to wrap up here. We're gonna be done. We're going to stay with my grandma for a few weeks and then to the new house in a few weeks. So stay tuned. We're in the new house. We are here. We're in the new house and we're gonna give y'all a little empty house tour so you can see what it looks like before we put all of our junk in it. So. We're about to take y'all on the tour and show y'all our new digs. Here we go. Okay, so our front door is actually right behind John Luke, but we'll, no, 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 hey, stay here. It's right behind John Luke, but we, I'm just gonna take you through the tour. Um, this is the living room, so it opens right into the living room and there's a ton of space. And one of the things that I loved most about this house was the fireplace with the brick and the shiplap and the shelves. I love built-in bookcases. I cannot wait to style them. So that was a really big thing for me. So this is the living room and it has a lot of natural light. We have some of the blinds closed right now, but it's just spacious and I love it. And I love the fireplace and all of that. Um, these double doors right here go to the backyard, but I'm gonna take you around this way and I'll show you the next room. So this is our formal dining room. Um, 
I love hosting dinner parties and hosting people, so this is the formal dining room space, and I do have that video that y'all saw when we went to New Orleans. Those chairs are going in here, and I've got a table picked out, so I can't wait to finally have a place to put my grandmother's china and all of the things, but this is the formal dining room. And then if you keep coming this way, it wraps right around into the kitchen and this casual dining space, which I also love because I just want to host people and I just want people to come over and I want people to hang out and I love how it's all open and it all connects and you know people can be in that room talking to me in here while John Luke is cooking because I won't be cooking but no I'm just kidding I'm gonna cook in the new kitchen because look at this kitchen I'm kind of obsessed um, it's all white and bright and everything that I want in the kitchen and I finally got my farmhouse sink and I'm so excited about all of it. We have so much storage, so much good space. I love the big island because I feel like anytime anyone comes over or hangs out, like we all just hang out around the island. So I'm super, super excited about the island. And then this space right here, um, we'll also put a big table at, so it'll be another big seating area. And then John Luke says he's gonna build me a really fun wine cabinet that will go hopefully on that wall. So stay tuned for that vlog because that'll be fun. And then, Back there, that door goes to the garage and the laundry room, and there's like a little sitting area for like an office type space. And then this door right here, this was one thing I loved about this house. So this house was actually like a custom built home, not for us, someone lived here previously, but it should, they just added a bunch of little cute touches. And so this barn door opens up into the pantry. So there's a lot of good storage space. Um, I'm excited to organize this. Our old house, the pantry and laundry room were combined and it was very tight. I don't think I brought y'all in there very often because there was not a lot of space, but this is gonna be really nice to have. So now, come this way. So it opens back to the living room. We're right back where we started, but I'm gonna take y'all into the bedrooms now. So this bedroom in here is one of the guest bedrooms. Um, it will eventually be a baby's room for us. Not yet, I'm not pregnant yet, but that's where our mind is. So I'm thinking it's downstairs, it's close to the master. This will be a baby's room or if, you know, maybe a baby isn't in our future or whatever, maybe it can be an office or something, but hopefully it'll be a baby's room. And then right here, we've got a linen closet. That's one thing I like about this house is they have a ton of storage. Now you can see me. So that's the linen closet. And then this is a guest bathroom. And then this is the master bedroom. So we actually are ripping up the carpet um, tomorrow and laying down hardwoods. So the same hardwoods that are in the living room area, they're coming in tomorrow. We're putting the hardwoods in here. And I think I'm gonna paint the room white the more I'm standing in here with it empty, like I, I think it's gonna be white. Um, I just want it all very clean and cozy and you know, you get it. So probably gonna be white. Don't know where all the switches are, but this is the, ba the bathroom and we have his and hers closets. They're not huge, but they'll do the job. And the two closets upstairs that you'll see in a minute are really big, so I'll probably be putting stuff up there. But then this is our master bathroom, which is great. Has a lot of space. We have his and hers vanities, so it's your typical bathroom. That's the bathroom. So now we're gonna go upstairs. So we haven't had a two-story house, but now we do. So up here we have two bedrooms. So this is one bedroom, probably needs to be repainted now that I look at it in the light. But this is one bedroom. Um, we're gonna, we have two beds, so this will be one guest room. And then this room will be the other guest room. And I liked this. 
these rooms a lot because again this house is kind of custom built and so it has like the arches in the ceiling it's just a little bit more unique a little bit special um but the closets appear very spacious so i will be utilizing those maybe i'll give john Luke some space but then we've got the bathroom bathroom so eventually when the child gets old enough it will be here. then one of the things that we loved most about this house was this next room. It's considered our like bonus room. So let me show you. So this is the bonus room. So you can see right here, we can hang a TV. They've got some special touches. The shiplap carries on up here. We're gonna put some cozy chairs right here to where Dominic and I can just come up here and watch a movie, pour a glass of wine. And it keeps going around, which is amazing. So back here, this is gonna be our like office space. And y'all know I'm probably gonna like make it like the blog office, but I'm gonna give John Luke a chair and desk and we're gonna be able to come work up here. But then once our kids get older, this will make a great playroom. So there we are. Wait, we're about we're literally leaving here right now we're going to the storage unit we're going to start unloading his parents are coming this weekend so can't wait to show you everything that we do decor wise so once we get it all decorated there will be a whole nother video with all of the decor inside but for now we're gonna go get to unpacking and we'll see you later